So, so let me just say, first of all, congratulations for your interest, your participation, your, um, your desire to learn more about ABLE. Um, that is, that's huge to me. Um, let me tell you just a little bit about kind of me and, and why I am involved with this program. So I was, um, I was raised in State College, Pennsylvania. Uh, for any of you who know what that is, it's not College Station and it's not College Park. Uh, State College is where Penn State University is. And my dad was a professor of administration of justice, uh, sociology, criminology. In that position, my dad trained people to become police officers. At the same time, my dad would spend time in Rockview Penitentiary teaching prisoners. My own career, I started out in the criminal section of the Civil Rights Division, prosecuting hate crimes and police misconduct cases. And as I tell everybody, the only way that I was able to prosecute police misconduct cases was because I had amazing law enforcement partners in those efforts. I had people who cared so deeply about their profession and the people in their profession and their own jobs and reputations and safety, to reputations and safety, that they helped me with those prosecutions. I went on to be lucky enough to work with Christy Lopez. Uh, and Christy and I worked in New Orleans, uh, first investigating the police department and then moving on to uh, hiring Jonathan and his team at Shepard Mullen to be the monitors there, as I, as I mentioned before. I want every one of you to understand and for it to be as, as clear as day that ABLE represents the deepest respect for the law enforcement profession. I believe in ABLE because I don't only want you to do your jobs the best that you possibly can do them, I need you to do your jobs the best that you can possibly do them. Because I know that for myself and for my family, I need to know that, that, that I can be safe in my community. And I know the role that law enforcement plays with that. But I also realize that you cannot do your best unless you are at your best. Now at Facebook, I have this job, Vice President of Civil Rights, which was just created all of six months ago, doesn't exist anywhere else. And as people ask me, what do I do? I define the job as making sure that Facebook does no harm and making sure that Facebook does good. It's no different for you. It's no different for pretty much hopefully every job making sure that my job does no harm, making sure my job does good, making sure that as a police officer, as a sheriff, as a prison guard, as an FBI agent, that I do no harm and that I do good. And when I say do no harm and do good, when it comes to the profession of policing, I'm talking about with respect to yourself, I'm talking about with respect to your partners, I'm talking about with respect to the people who you interact with, your community, yourself, your partners, your community. Do no harm, to do good. What do I mean by that? And, and you've heard this, I'm sure, through this amazing training that I myself have gone through multiple times and worked with, with multiple officers on. Of course, yourself is, look, you're human. I get it. You have chosen an extraordinary, an extraordinarily important profession. But at the end of the day, you're a human being, a human being that has to deal with all the stresses in the world, multiplied by the fact that you have to be tough and pretend like it doesn't happen to you. The same financial, the same mental health, the same family, the same addiction, the same everything, problems that we all have. And when you have those problems as a police officer, though you're under a magnifying glass. You're under a magnifying glass and people see you and people expect you to act a certain way and act differently than other, than, than other human beings. ABLE helps you to deal with those issues. ABLE helps you with respect to your partners. 
your coworkers, your colleagues, your fellow deputies, your fellow agents. ABLE allows you to step in, to give them a tap on the shoulder, to ask them to let you take it because you're in a better space at that moment. To prevent them from getting into trouble, to, get from, to prevent them from getting hurt, to prevent them from getting killed. That's what ABLE is. It is the ultimate in being the best partner that you can possibly be. I mean, to be able to have that honest, that honest conversation, that honest interaction with that individual. And ABLE is about community because you come from community. You are part of community, whether you live in the district where you work or you live outside of it. If you live outside of it, you have police officers that you hope are doing ABLE as well. I've heard too many stories of officers who've been pulled over by other officers. But that community, that community needs you at your best. That community needs your partner at his or her best. And ABLE helps to get them there. ABLE helps to make sure that when interacting with a community member, and you feel that frustration, that tension, because look, people are annoying. People are frustrating. People are difficult. People don't listen. People run. But sometimes we all need, and I'm in the social media world. I know what happens when people move too quickly, when people decide to just put anything out there. Well, in policing, it's not as forgiving. And you know that, and in many ways, I know that I'm preaching to a choir here. But ABLE helps you when dealing with the community, helps you to, to remember that just as you want them to believe that you are human and to know that you're human, that you know that they are human, that you accept them as, as, with the faults that they have, but that you will always treat them with a level of respect and kindness that you would want someone to treat you with. Look, I, I, I went through the ABLE training and the thing that, that struck me is we need ABLE for lawyers. We need ABLE for prosecutors. We need ABLE for business people. We need ABLE for pretty much everything. That's, you know, ABLE was created out of this idea of, of helping your fellow human being. And why don't we do it? So I don't want to claim that, it is, that only police officers need it. But I'm saying if you, if you as police officers accept ABLE and teach ABLE and work with ABLE, that you will teach these other professions what they need to know. Look, we are in an undeniable rut right now in this country. Undeniable rut right now in this country. People don't talk to each other. People are constantly mad at each other. People won't listen to each other. Everyone thinks that everyone else hates them, thinks they're stupid. I joined this ABLE process because I actually saw a ton of hope in it. I saw it as something where we are making a positive change that isn't linked to politics, isn't linked to telling someone that their profession is a bad profession, isn't linked to telling someone that we need to defund everything that they do. It is about building. It's about building the profession to be all that it can be. It is about building the individual to be all that he or she can be. It is about building partners to be the best possible partners that they can be. That is what ABLE is to me. Because if, if the people who are fearless about running into a hail of bullets are equally fearless about telling a superior officer, hey officer, hey Sarge, hey captain, hey chief, I got this one. If we all had that same courage. I honestly think that we, as a community, as a society, as partners, would be much better. So 
let me just say thank you, congratulations, thanks for listening to me, um, and I wish you all the absolute best.